This video is going to illustrate a selection of knives. This first kitchen knife has a blade which is about 15 centimeters long, that's about 6 inches, and a width of about 4 centimeters close to the handle, and then progressively less as we get closer to the tip. It's a sharp tip and a sharp cutting edge and the non-cutting edge, because this is a single edged blade, is blunt or, or squared and measures about uh, 0.1 centimeter in thickness, that's about a millimeter. So this piece of modeling clay has several defects in it which have been caused by a knife being pushed through it and the defects are of various lengths but they have all been caused by the same knife, this knife. Depending on how far it was pushed through the modelling clay, depends on the width of the blade at a variable distance from the tip. So this is about three and a half centimetres and if we measure on the blade from the tip where the width of the blade is three and a half centimetres, that's about halfway down the the blade. So that was pushed through the modelling clay about halfway down its length. This other defect is about two and a half centimetres and if we go from the tip again along the length of the blade till we get to a width of two and a half centimetres that's how far that blade was pushed through the modelling clay. Now this knife is another kitchen knife, has a blade length for the of about uh, 19 centimetres, that's about seven and a half inches, and a blade width of two centimetres, which is fairly even along the blade, apart from a bit closer to the tip. It's got a serrated edge. You can see the small serrations there. And a sharp tip. And it's a single edge blade. The back edge is non-cutting and is squared is about a millimetre thick. This modelling clay has some markings on it which are of interest. Striated marks going across and those were caused by the serrations on the knife being drawn across that surface. And sometimes on skin surfaces we will see injuries that look like scratches caused by the serrations. This is another knife, eight centimeters long, about three and a quarter inches, and just under two centimeters wide. Again, it's got a sharp tip, a single cutting edge, and a squared back edge. That's about a millimeter as well. The next knife is slightly odd. This is a new style knife which is designed to take away the sharp point of the knife and to reduce injuries. And this is also about eight centimeters in length, has a rounded tip, blunt back edge, single cutting edge which is sharp, and then a point which can be used to pick up uh, bits of food. And this is a cutthroat razor, very sharp. The razor blade is about four centimeters long, but the end is rounded. So what sort of injuries would these implements cause and what would you call them? 